record? Uh, my name is Tracy Waynes and I attend James State University. And how did you know Morgan McGrath? Uh, we shared a bunch of classes together. And um, we were we were very we were familiar with each other, but I wouldn't call us good friends though. Okay. How was Morgan acting when you were in the lab with him? Uh, quite friendly, actually. He gave me his textbook and some tips on the lab. Nothing seemed to be bothering him at all. Uh, he, uh, that's all. <laughs> um, if he did, were there any mentionings about a bad grade? Uh, no, he did not mention anything about a grade. Bad grade. We we had a great conversation the entire time. And uh, which lab station was Jesse working at? Uh, lab station one. It's isolated, and he likes to work there because he can focus better. So when did all of you leave lab two A? Um, well, Morgan and I followed the uh, procedures that the chemistry department set out for us to follow. We waited for our hot plates to cool off and then placed them in proper storage. So I'd say we left. We hadn't left until about seven twenty. Who was still in Lab 2A before you and Morgan had left? Uh, Jesse was the last to leave, last to leave tap Lab 2A, and I also noticed that he left his hot plate out on his station. Interesting. Where did you go once you left, once you exited Lab 2A? Instead of leaving immediately, I had the urge to use the bathroom, where I coincidentally saw Morgan. Uh, we had a funny little conversation for a few minutes uh, before I left. So was Morgan acting a little strange when you left him? Uh, no, he was in a pretty good mood the whole entire time. There's no way he could have committed a crime like arson. He knows that would ruin his future. Uh, there were a couple, there were a lot of papers around the lab that could have been blown by the ventilation system onto Jesse's hot plate that he left out. No further questions, Would the, uh, prosecution care to cross-examine the witness? <laughs>